We are going to create this amazing speed ramp inside the free version of the Minji Resort. I will also be sharing project files in a community post, but it will be available for the channel members only. So if you are interested, you can get it just in 29 rupees. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so here I am on the edit page and as you can see, I have already added these two markers and also added the clips accordingly. Now if you notice, I haven't actually trimmed any of my clips because we need the full clip in order to create the perfect speed jam. So make sure not to trim them, okay? Now let's get our first animation. So for that, simply place the playback head on top of this bottom clip and open it in the fusion page. Okay, so once you are in Fusion, you will have something like this. Now, in order to create the speed ramp, we are going to use the time stretcher node. But before that, let's go to the top right section and click on this keyframes icon to enable it. Now, if I click on this zoom to fit icon, you will see we have these markers. We need them in order to create the animation properly, okay? Now, let's set our time stretcher node. So, simply click on this media in one node, then press Ctrl plus space and search for the time stretcher node. Once you find it, simply press enter to add it. The moment you add it, you will see something has changed because it has added a keyframe by default and the keyframe is on our current frame which is frame 29 but we want it in the frame 0. So what we are going to do is simply move back to frame 0 then go to the inspector and double click on this search time text. It will just reset the keyframe, okay? Now I want the beginning of our speed ramp to be a little different than this. So in order to change it, what we are going to do is go to the inspector and disable this time station node for now and now you just have to move your playback head till you find the perfect point. So I guess somewhere around frame 60 looks good. Okay, so I want this frame 60 to be the beginning of our speed ramp. So in order to set it, simply go back to frame 0, then go to the inspector and enable the time station node. Now double click on this switch time box and change the value to 60. Now if I click here, you will see our beginning has changed. Okay, now let's set the ending. So for that, we need to disable the time station node once again. And now let's move the playback head around this point. So let's see. So I guess I am going to keep it somewhere around frame 200. So let's keep it at frame 200. Okay, so I want this current scene to be the ending of our speed ramp. So in order to set it, we need to go to the frame 90 because this is where our first marker is as you can see. Now let's go to the inspector and enable the time station node once again. Then double click on the source time box and change the value to 200. Let's click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. Now let's also change the curve. So click on this plan tab icon to open it. Now go around here and select the source time box. Then click on this zoom to fit icon. Select the keyframes, then press S on your keyboard. Now take this bottom handle and move it somewhere around here and take this top handle and move it somewhere around here. Let's keep it around here and I guess I'm going to change this handle a little bit more so I'll simply click here and try to move it around this place. Okay, so this looks good. Now let me just disable this plan tab and also this keyframe tab. Now if I go around here and set the preview area like this and go to frame 0, then double click here and play it you will see it will have something like this. Now it's a little bit laggy so let me just stop it and open it in the edit page. Okay so once you are in edit page, simply place the playback head on top of this first marker then go to the end of our bottom clip and trim it down until this point. Okay? Now let's go to the frame 0, double click here and let's just preview it once again. So this is how it's looking. Okay? Now we are going to animate the second clip so place the playback head on top of it and open it in the fusion page. Okay, so for this one, we are going to create a reward speed ramp. But before we do that, let's find out the beginning and ending of our animation. It will just help us work faster. So let me move the playback head around here. Hmm. So I guess for this one as well, I am going to set the beginning as frame 60. And let's find out the ending. Let me move it somewhere around here. I guess this time, I am going to keep it somewhere around 180. Okay, so I guess this will look good. Alright, so let's go to frame 0. Then press Ctrl plus space and add the time station node. Now just go to the inspector and double click on the search time box and change the value to 60. Let's click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. Now I said that we're going to create a reverse speed ramp which means the ending of this clip will be the same as the beginning. So let's move to this second marker then add a keyframe once again. We don't need to change anything because it will be same as the beginning. Now what we're going to do is move to the middle of this section which will be frame 45. And at this point, let's go to the inspector and double click on the search time box and change the value to 180. Let's click here on to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. Now let me close this keyframes tab and open this plan tab. Select the search time box, click on the zoom to fit icon. Now select the keyframes, then press S on your keyboard. Now just follow me. Take the bottom handle of this left side and move it somewhere around here. Now take the bottom handle of this right side and move it somewhere around here as well. Now just take this handle and move it somewhere around this place and also do the same for this left side. Click here and move it somewhere around here. Make sure to keep them straight and once you are done you will get something like this. Now just close this plan tab and open it in the edit page. Okay so let me go to this point then trim down this second clip to around here and now if I go to frame 0 then double click here and play it. 
you will see we'll have something like this okay now let's continue so we are going to create the last part let's place the playback head on top of this third clip and open it in the fusion page once again okay so for this one we are going to create the same animation as our first clip so let me go to cream 0 then press ctrl plus space and add the time stitcher node now let's go to the inspector double click here and this time i'm going to change the value to 600 let me click here on to apply these changes and we'll have something like this now what i'm going to do is move to cream 60 Let's double click on the switch time box once again and I'm going to change the value to 850. Let me click around to apply these changes and we'll have something like this. Now let's open this spline tab, click on the switch time box, click on the zoom to fit icon, select the keyframes, press S on your keyboard, take this bottom handle and move it somewhere around here. Then take this top handle and move it somewhere around here. Now let's go to the edit page and preview it. So we'll have something like this and as you can see it's actually looking quite good. But you can make it even more better by adding the motion blur. So let's do this. Now before you add the motion blur, I would recommend you to save this project because it is going to be a little bit heavier. So save it first. Alright, so my render is done and I have also imported the clip. Now let's go to the fusion page once again. Okay, so the first thing we are going to add is called optical flow. So press ctrl plus space and search for optical flow. Once you find it, simply press enter to add it. Then press ctrl plus space once again and search for vector motion blur. Press enter on second to add it. Now what we're going to do is simply go to the inspector and double click on the scale box and change the scale to something like 0.4 or 0.5. So let me change it to 0.5. Let's click here on to apply these changes and it won't preview here because it's actually quite heavy. So let me go to the edit page and now if I play it, you will see it will have something like this. And that's how you create this amazing speed ramp inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If the tutorial was helpful, then give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch my other videos. I will see you in the next one. So, see ya.